Hey everybody, Mark Johnson here, founder and creative director of Able Ape Studios. Back again with another vlog. Today's vlog is number 41. And I just want to hope and wish everyone a positive and productive week. Um, as I'm shooting this video, it is actually Veterans Day. So we want to send a salute out to all the veterans past and present and thank them for their service. Um, I would say my week was pretty productive. I think I felt that I got a lot of things done. Um, I kind of was really mindful this past week and um, really got some things done, or at least moved them to the next level. And that's really like, all I can really ask is just kind of push them to the next level um, within a week or within the amount of time that I have available to get things done. Um, I think the other thing that kind of um, was on my mind this past week was um, where I live here in California, uh, the actual city is called Chico. Um, a year ago, uh, November 8th, we had a fire, not necessarily here in Chico, but in nearby, nearby uh, city town um, called Paradise. And it was called, what we had was a fire, and it was called a campfire. Um, and so it's been a whole year now since that. And um, we kind of had our first year memory first year anniversary you know for some people it was a horrific time I can imagine that um, if you didn't if you don't or have not heard about the fire the campfire it was pretty bad um, I remember waking up that morning and just looking out the window thinking that it wasn't expected to rain but it looked like it was rain because the clouds were that dark out and it was just kind of really really strange and I had someone message me saying that there was a fire nearby um, and they're following it on Facebook, at least the, in, the news on Facebook. And um, it was moving fast. I mean, early in the morning, it was at a certain point, and then just by mid-morning, at least for my mid-morning, um, it was it, it just kind of just jumped. And um, you know, we turned on the news, and we kind of like got the instant kind of whoa, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because it was it was moving that fast and it was that crazy. Um, I think for me the most chilling day was actually the second day. The fire was still going, but ash, it just was, and it turned really cold, and it wasn't um, scheduled to be cold, you know, a cold day, but it was just cold, gray skies, ash dropping from dropping from the sky everywhere. Um, and then, you know, as the story kind of got out, and people started getting out, out, of, the t out of town, um, you know, there was the evacuations all around, so panic kind of spread pretty quickly. As much as the fire moved really quickly, panic and fear moved just as fast. It was really bad, um, you know, and as I started to recognize and understand people who were living in paradise, you know, they would tell me the stories of how they were driving down on the skyway uh, through flames, you know, um, people were rushing out of their houses as fire was in their backyard, and you know as it turned out people lost homes lost everything and so like i said this has been the year the first year anniversary of that whole thing and things are not necessarily back to normal you know chico got an influx of um new residents because people were all burned out and displaced um and so you know that kind of was a burden on chico and it probably still is you know i mean i don't really know what the real truth of it but i know Many people um, were just kind of without um, a place to stay. You know, people were staying in tents. There was some places where you could get shelter and you know, get food, clothing. And I think at a certain point, Chico came together really well um, to help these people out. You know, I think there were some things, some skirmishes here and there that kind of made a, a damp in that. But I think a lot of people were out really to help those people who lost a lot, um, you know, Again, lost their homes, lost cars. You know, lost, some lost their lives. I think about they said that about 85 people um, lost their lives in that uh, in that fire. And so, like I said, it's been a whole year. And I even remember telling myself, I wonder what's going to happen a year later from now. Like even in the moment, um, you know, because you couldn't imagine if you lost your whole home, how could you kind of really get everything back? I mean, there's people scrambling for insurance, uh, FEMA, all these kind of things early on. And um, again, it's been a year, and I'm, I'm sure a lot of those people have not gotten half of, half back what they had before, you know. Um, and you can always find someone who's lived through it and you can hear their story. And it's, uh, 
I don't know, it's just kind of mind blowing. Um, and so, you know, they had some memorials, you know, moments of silence, and um, they talked about how they're you know, in process of keeping or continuing to rebuild paradise. But it's going really slow. It's a year later, and a whole lot of things haven't really happened. And then there was the whole fact that there was the blame that was put on to um, PGE for this whole situation. Um, you know, lawsuits, you know, being that um, they felt PGE was involved, there was lawsuits. So, you know, since the gap fire, there's been numerous and numerous lawyer um, videos, or not necessarily videos, commercials. Uh, you know, if you want to put a lawsuit against PGE, you know, uh, give us a call. And it's been over and over and over. And I'm not trying to, uh, you know, say that that's not right, but, you know, it, it is what it is. And so, uh, that's kind of what the state of this area is right now. You know, it's been a year and we are slowly getting through it. You know, they're starting to rebuild a lot of paradise. A lot of the land has been re, uh, has been cleared or, you know, in a sense cleared so that they can rebuild. But it's just a slow process. It's only been one year. So I can imagine, you know, maybe two, three years down the road, people will really get to a point where uh, they really feel like they are uh, whole again. You know, I don't know if that will really ever be, but, um, you know, to be alive uh, and live through that, um, I think that's a pretty, that's a pretty big thing. So, um, you know, whether or not you get your possessions back may not be uh, the most important thing, but, you know, who knows. So that's kind of what we've been dealing with over here, at least for myself, I've been wanting to reflect on that. Um, but like I said, that morning waking up and having that whole situation and go through it. And it went for like maybe two or three weeks. Yeah, um, tough time. Uh, so yeah, I just kind of wanna, you know, as much as we're <laughs> being mindful of the veterans, maybe we should be mindful of those campfire, campfire survivors. So that's my little spiel for today. Um, again, hope everyone's off to a positive and productive week. Um, and yeah, like we always do at this time, have a blessed day. See you on the flip side, let's go.